In Vietnam, a man returned home to share a message that would never be forgotten. The Hmong made international headlines when 300,000 converted from spirit worship to the Christian faith. The broadcaster they called their pastor was John Lee. In the Philippines, it changed the life of an atheist. I did not believe in God. I began to listen intensively to the radio. Eventually, my outlook on life changed. In Indonesia, converts from Islam listen, risking persecution and death. Saya Muslim. Itu saya dengerin radio itu karena saya mendapatkan kedamaian yang luar biasa yang belum pernah saya dapatkan dari sebelumnya itu. In China, it was the reason a deeply depressed, crippled girl smiled again. In Cambodia, Lida sold her only chicken so she could hear it. In Russia, an orphan was given a loving family because of it. In Pakistan, Sami risks his life to put it on the air. We were strictly forbidden to use the name of Christ. The radio is reaching in those places. In India, it saved Iswaran's life. In Kazakhstan, Dorothy's rehab center plays it every day by satellite. There's 20 men in a circle praying. In Ukraine, Natalia's husband gave his life for it. Витя любил людей, ему было что людям, ну, да вот преподнести. В проповеди Я хочу быть угодным Богу. In Thailand, it reaches a nation through an outcast crippled. I preach at least four sermons a day, bringing them to God. What is it? What do two million people just like these respond to every year? What could change the entire belief system of 300,000 people all at once? What could be more important than food? What could make someone who's already decided to die choose to live? What would someone literally risk their life for? What would you risk your life for? Surely, the answer must be more powerful than health, security, opportunity, or even provision. For these are the very things that these people risked for it. Every day, we are reminded of exactly what it is, through many voices. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. One message the truth of salvation through Jesus Christ. Proclaiming the gospel to the most unreached places of the earth for almost 70 years. And that will never change. By God's grace, we will never stop innovating new ideas through advancing technology, growing leaders locally where they're the most effective, and above all, proclaiming the gospel boldly of our Lord Jesus Christ until that day when he returns again. Join us in serving this truly great commission.